So um, this is a continuation of last week, Sunday. We were reading verse 96 from Sri Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. And um, yeah, it was a, 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 a intense, a beautiful sharing and we, we did not uh, get to the end of the verse. So I um, thought to continue like that we can complete the, the verse today and, and, and see uh, if, if we can complete it today. Uh, or uh, you will be carried away again. But uh, I thought uh, just to read the verse again, and then maybe just uh, maybe for for those devotees who, who were not able last Sunday to join, just to maybe give a, a bit of a, a yeah summary of us, what what was shared last week, and then we could continue if that's okay. Yeah, Goranga Sundar. We need your approval and blessings. Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, verse 96. Kalindi Tata Kumja Mandira Gato Yogindra Vatyat Pada Jyotir Dhyana Parashada Japati Yam Pramyashu Purno Hari Kena Pyodo Putamula Shadrati Rasanandena Samohita Saradhiti Sadaridi Spuratu me vidya para dvayakshara. May the two supremely astonishing, blissful, rasika, amorous, and enchanting syllables, Radha that fulfill all desires that are muttered by Sri Hari, who sits in a bower house on the bank of the Jamuna as the king of yogis, meditating on the effulgence of her lotus feet, with eyes filled with tears of love, always be manifest in my heart. I read again for the pleasure of Jananda Ji. Thank you. May the two supremely astonishing, blissful, rasika, amorous, and enchanting syllables, Radha, that fulfill all desires, that are muttered by Sri Hari, who sits in a bower house on the bank of the Yamuna as the king of yogis, meditating on the effulgence of her lotus feet with eyes filled with tears of love always be manifest in my heart. Again, this verse is so astonishing because even before the author gets to the two syllables, Radha, he already has so many ornamentations of that word. It's astonishing. It's blissful. It's rasika. It's amorous and enchanting. So what just came to me here is that actually, when we go on this Radha Dasyam path, we have to also ornament ourselves, our bhav, with all these attributes. We have to be always astonishing, in an astonishing mood. Gurudev always says that, you know, astonishment, chamatgar, is so essential on the path of, of Raga Nuga Bhakti. Blissfulness, right? We were yesterday talking how Corona Sundar was sharing in the wonderful class how the mind and the eyes are the index of the state, the are the being of the devotee. So you see, those who have ornamented themselves with Radha's names in their heart are always blissful, right? And they're always rasika, they're always merged and drowned in rasa. 
Those are those devotees who ornament themselves with the syllables of Radha. And they are amorous. They always meditate on the amorous pastimes of the divine couple and are enchanted by it. So I was just feeling like actually this verse also gives a clear indication how to meditate on the syllables to Radha, how to ornament her Madanakya into our hearts so that we can also always be in this astonishing, blissful, rasika, amorous and enchanting mood that we can always see her in this way. And here it also says that fulfill all desires. So what desire we have as kinkaris? As kinkaris, our only desire is to serve her, that her happiness is our happiness, that she can always be meeting her beloved. That is the desire. And she can fulfill also this desire in us if we ornament ourselves with her syllables. So last week we were sharing about how the Supreme Personality, Sri Hari, is muttering, meditating on her lotus feet. He both have agreed to meet in Nakunja, and Radharani appears first there with her sakis and with her manjaris. But to her astonishment, she finds out that he has not come. And she gets very upset and anxious. She feels, where did he go? We had our rendezvous, but he's not showing up. So Radharani's heart is upset, but she's not saying anything. But the manjri we heard last week immediately understands what is going on in Radharani's heart. And she sets out to find Mohan, to see what this naughty Dibosche is again up to. Maybe he went to some rival party or whatever. But when she finds him, she finds out that actually he is just next door and a nearby bower and he lost his way. He's totally in the dark and he doesn't know what to do anymore. So we were uh, relishing that he as a Supreme is lost without Radha's brain, without Radha, with, without his inner potency, he's in the dark. Similarly, we as sadhakas also are in the dark if we don't understand that Radharani is our Supreme goal. And it also continued that he started to sit down like a yogi, like cross-legged, and meditating on uttering the syllables of Radha, ornamenting his painful heart with these beautiful syllables and meditating on her lotus feet, which were then the effulgence of her lotus feet. And tears were streaming down his eyes while he was meditating on the lotus feet of, of Swamini. And when the Manjari spotted him in that nearby Kunja, her heart got happy, but not the happiness to find him, but the happiness to see him in this condition, right? That was which made the Kinkari so happy that in this moment she saw the supremacy of her Swamini over the Supreme Personality, who was totally lost. And here we also were sharing that Actually, again, here the manjaris are so essential to bring the two divine couple who are actually totally lost and mad for each other, but actually are so mad that they can't even find each other in the forest. Uh, one is in the one kunja, the other one is hiding, uh, is, is looking for her in the other kunja. So here again, we were also referring to the Kam Gayatri that here again, the half, the manjari is again the one who brings uh, the transcendental use for Cupid, Kamdev, and Swamini together. So like this, it was it was going on in in in, in the last week, and um, 
we were just um, astonished about how how clever the manjuris are because what happened was when they found mohan sitting with his eyes closed in the dark and tears coming from his eyes and streams of tears coming from his eyes they did not go there they first went to swamini back to report that oh this great hero and it, it went like this the maid servant so happy to see mohan meditating on her swamini's lotus feet and chanting her holy name that she loses herself in topmost ecstasy and thinks i should show this once to my swami so that means show this once it means that in that moment the manjuri has painted that picture right on the canvas of her heart and she brings that picture to swamini and swamini sees the eyes of the manjuri and she can see that picture already even before the manjuri even has to say anything that's the tadatmika bhav which we often hear that swamini sees actually what happened in the eyes of the manjuri <laughs> but the manjuri quickly runs back to swamini and says oh go that crown jewel of heroes for whom you are so eagerly waiting is sitting in a nearby kunja meditating on the light emanating from your toes and repeatedly chanting your holy here also i remember that we we were relishing this sentence of the kinkari when she was a bit sarcastic about mohan because she called him the crown jewel of heroes but actually the in the position she found him was not really the position of a crown jewel hero it was somebody who was totally lost and totally in despair this happens when we are often in despair we sit down and close our eyes and start to meditate right and here also mohan is sitting down in the nearby kunja in the dark and trying to meditate on radha and hoping that she somehow magically will appear so here again the manjari is very clever and very artistic calling him the crown jewel of heroes but actually i think swamini understands that mohan is very much lost without her he's not able to find her so he's just sitting at store and maybe we also sometimes we are so close actually we're so blessed and fortunate that we're so close to our guru dev but we sometimes also sit in the next but we don't understand how blessed we actually are you know that actually guru dev is guru manjari is the dasi of radharani and we are just sitting next to his lotus feet but we don't understand similarly mohan is just sitting next to her but he cannot see so maybe that gives also hope to us that we are actually we need the help of others we need the help of guru manjari we need the help of our sakhi brother sisters of our dasi brother sisters who can help us you know to not sit in the dark i hope i i, I gave this uh, summary of last week and could create some uh, of that uh, atmosphere again but please uh, suniti didi gora and goranga and others please also uh, give us some feelings to to this can i say something yes yes daya nidi come it's just uh, in this verse is described that uh, syllabus rada uh, can fulfill all desires so i remember that uh, sanatana i think sanatana goswami he had some touchstone 
which uh, uh, can transform uh, whatever is touched in the gold. And he leave them somewhere in the garbage, some, somewhere in the part. In the same, and this is personification of all opulence material, nothing more can be of that. And in this verse, also Krishna, what is the more than opulence material re represented by touchstone? To be God. And here Krishna leave his position of the God also to meditate to the syllabus of Radha. So just this little sharing would come to me. Radhe Radhe. Very wow. nice. Thank you. He, he actually has exhausted his opulence in this moment when he's not able to find her. He's actually accepted defeat, right? He has to sit down and met, close his eyes and pray the syllables, but indirectly, maybe also praying for help that somebody of Radharani's team comes and, and takes him and, and helps him out of this situation. No, we see Gopina three, three teachers for us in this example. Krishna is teaching us how to behave in the darkness, right? What to do exactly? <laughs> we have to call our Radhika. Go in the meditation. It's, uh, it's simultaneously our situation in the material world. Mm. We are uh, separate uh, from Radhika, and so we have to call her. And uh, second is Radhika, who is stable, always in the right position in the Kunja, is waiting. And the third is the Manjari, who is doing the service to Radhika. And she the Manjari is the person who will save us, who will find us in the material world. Everywhere where we are, they will find us and uh, give us the hope and show us the way back to Swamini. So, mm. this is a beautiful example for three parts of a Guru. Here, Krishna gives example, Radhika and Manjari. It's very beautiful to see how they lead us and take us by the hand. It's so beautiful. We all only have to call Radhika, go in a meditation on her, like Krishna did in the darkness of material world. Even we can, we think it's not darkness, but actually it is. Because this material world is made of tamagun, and so uh, automatically we are in the darkness. And uh, and the way out is to call our Swamini, and we can see that it happened. Because if we see what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is actually in the mood of Radhika and all uh, his associates are actually the Manjaris who are pick us up to bring us back to Radhika. And our Gurudev is an expan was heißt das? Eine, eine, eine Erweiterung? Expansion of those Manjaris who pick us up to bring us back to Swamini, isn't it? Mm. So she is the, the Manjari who finds uh, simultaneously Krishna in the Kunja and he finds us here in this darkness and he will bring us back to our Swamini. So beautiful example. Three beautiful. gurus. 
Mm-hmm. And I felt after hearing Gorang Sundra, can I little talk? And uh, we are thinking Radha Moha is very far. But actually, in this case, actually, Krishna was looking for Radhika. Actually, Radhika is next Punja, very near. <laughs> but not to realize. Similarly, Radhika is very near. Ja. A little bit, you know, a little bit go. <laughs> Radhika is there, but uh, we are so blind in darkness, we don't realize. Mm. Then our Guru Manjari, our Parama Guru Manjari say, no, here, open it and feel it. Then by the mercy of Guru, Guru Manjari, Parama Guru Manjari, we got to realize, oh, actually, we are thinking she's very far, actually, next to me. That is I felt after hearing Gora Gora's words. Gora just really, uh, you know, I think nailed it because without Guru Kripa, we cannot go and serve the divine couple. Even Krishna cannot find Radharani without mm. the Manjuri's help. Even Radharani cannot look out for Mohan without the, Radha, mm. with the Manjuri's help. Mm. So this is really the essence that without Guru Kripa, without Guru Manjuri's help, we cannot see this even. True. We cannot even yeah. feel it. No Guru there. <laughs> You will need one minute of that and you can throw us back in some time. Voices are a bit unclear about Background yeah. noise is more. Yes. Yes. The Manjari is a meditator who mediate. Mediate to what? To Krishna. To show him his song. Because she knows where she is hiding or she is sitting. So the thing is this, that uh, Manjiri knows the place where she is. So our Guru Manjari are knowing the place where she is sitting. And then he said, Krishna, how to go there? This is the, what you say, navigation. She navigates us. For Krishna, what is the goal? Radhika is the goal. For Manjari, what is the goal? Radhika is the goal. And what is the goal of Manjari? How to make happy to my Swamini. And she knows my Samni happy when his lover comes to see him. If Krishna comes to see him, then she will become happy. So she do this for the happiness of Radhika, her Samni. And this is the way of highest thing, the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what we receive and to practice that we need the help of Medita, who knows and how to help to Krishna, how to help 
all his want to come to Swamini. How I can be useful for this service? This is the meaning of taking birth of this life. Very nice subject. How can you elevate? But the, who knows the way, they can show us the way. That is the point. We have to know the way where she is sitting and we have to very close to her that we know what she wants. Radhe. Gurudev, I want to ask you how yeah. it's possible, why, why Manjari is always able to find Krishna? <laughs> Man, Manjari can find Krishna because she has a very clear vision, she selfless vision. She is not finding for herself. She is finding for Swamini Radhika. And so Manjari knows how much is the heart of Krishna, where he can go and what he can do this time. She knows about the feeling of Radhika, all also to Krishna. She is very close with both of them. Gurudev, one, one just feeling came to me that why the Manjari is able to find Krishna in the dark forest is because whoever sincerely, with pure heart, chants these two syllables, Manjari will find that person. So yeah. it's kind of for us to also be sincere in our chanting for the Radharani. Right, Guru? Right. Right. Again, Krishna is the example that if you are sincerely chanting, then some help will come. And similarly, like Guru Manjari, if she feels we're sincerely meditating on Radharani, she will come and help us. No, Guru? I see all mantra is chanting of Radhika, Mahamantra is also chanting of Radhika. Every mantra what we receive, is the goal is the cling. Cling means Radha, Krishna and Manjari. This is the seed mantra. And this is the seed because my Swami is Radhika and Krishna is his lover and I am the Dasi of Radhika. Chanting is also service and meditation is also the service and what physically I do is also service. Everything is sadhak deha or siddha deha. We have to think that I am in the service of my Swamini. And Swamini's service is the love service. She is the goddess of love. She is Gajadhar also. He expanded her love through the many, many circumstances. How to give love? And that love giving is service of Radhika. How you, how much you expand is all the service of Radhika. There is nothing out of her service. Nothing. Hmm. In Sadhana Deha or Siddha Deha. <coughs> Also, we will keep the practice in Sadhana 
it goes and sit there. Uh, uh, yeah. Gurudev, you always say that yes, Vrindavan is uh, Radha's kingdom, right? Yeah. She is. That's not Krishna. They they all say Rate Rate. And she has many servants there in her kingdom. The birds, the trees. Whole Vrindavan is the servant of, of Radhika. And uh, I don't remember exactly, but there was, I think they was uh, playing, seeking and hiding Radha and Mohan. And one of them was searching to the other. And I think it was a tree who was showing the way. Mm, with the branch. With, with the, the branches. With the creeper from the tree they were showing. I think Krishna couldn't find Radhika, no? right? And so then he asked, where is my Radhika? And with the creeper, <laughs> the tree showed the way. So we can see in that this Vrindavan is completely under control of, of, of Radhika mm -hmm. and serving her in love. Yeah, yeah. Right, you are. So Radhika's kingdom is much bigger than Krishna's. <laughs> <laughs> so Gopinata Baya was saying is true. I I remember one 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 leader. I don't know in this mentioned. I I'm not sure, but Radharasa uh, Sani or Birapaks Manjari. So Krishna was meditating Radhika and uh, maybe crying, but uh, Radhika could not appear. Then Manjari came. You are, what are you doing? You are, I'm meditating, Radhika. But, but Radhika did, could not appear. Did, did you chant the name of Radhika? No. Mm. Then Krishna started chanting Radha, Radha. But Krishna said, I'm chanting Radha's name. But Radhika did not appear. And then Manjari said, maybe you are not sincere. Mm. You, you chant wholeheartedly. Mm. Then Krishna chant wholeheartedly. And then still did not appear. Mm. No, you have to crack the hand. And then Krishna must crack the hand and you know, chanting Radha's name. Mm. Then Radhika appeared, that kind of story. Mm. <laughs> so chanting necessary and Gopinata Maya said, we have to cry. Mm. Very sincerely pray, which Gurudev was like uh, saying, what Gurudev is doing. That's also <laughs> some leader. Wow. Yeah. So here we are in that scene where the Manjari finds Mohan. And she gets so in ecstasy because he sincerely, mm. with pure heart this mm. time, mm. with tears, mm. <laughs> not half, he's <laughs> fully crying and meditating on the lotus feet of Swamini. So now instead of taking him and breaking his like swoon or helping him, she first goes back to Swamini because She's loyal to Swamini. She will first go to increase Swamini's bhav, wow. right? Wow. She will first go there and tell her what she has seen. So Swamini gets more excited about this prospect of meeting. So it's just about to happen, right? But still the manjaris are a bit prolonging those feelings and increasing those feelings so that more relishment can come and everybody can get more astonished and more in, drawn in, in that rasa 
which is then uh, unfolding in front of the eyes of the manjaris. And, and here, Nandras Bhavaj is writing that there's also another reading of the words Rati Rasanande Samohita. When Swamini hears the words of her maid servant, she also becomes enchanted by the delicious ecstasy of love. So here the manjaris know that if they would bring him directly, it would not be as if they would just report to her first and let her heart swell up and be in ecstasy of love because she had already given up hope for meeting him on that night and her heart had become dark like the new moon night of despair. She had already given up hope. So we can imagine how, impo how many obstacles Radharani took to reach that power. How the night, the snakes, the thorny ways, everything she managed, she mastered so well and then she's there and her lover is not there. How much her heart must be aching and how much the manjari is feeling that pain that immediately the manjari reacts and goes to find a solution. So manjaris are solution bringers. Mm -hmm. Whenever there is an issue and conflict, the manjari brings solution. Like our Gurudev, who you can see his whole life, he has always brought solutions to all of us. Because this is the nature of the manjari, to quickly find a solution. Right, Gurudev? Yes, we have to do this service. We have to find out the solution, how to arrange our meeting. Because mind cannot do without mind is not peaceful. And peaceful mind can make solution. And this peace and love come from my soul. Without her mercy, not can come. Sri Radha Guru Prabha. Radhe Radhe. Yeah. I just wanted to thank Gopinath Baya to bring this verse again in memory so nicely. And whenever you are talking, actually, I am reminded how Krishna is subdued by Swamini. I think the vibration is inside you. And I think you were actually pointing on this also, even if you were not maybe formulated so. But I remember in Radharasa Sudhanidhi, there are five verses, 20, uh, 226 up to 230. And they are describing Krishna's position, actually, Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati in his King Reform, he is describing the position and the thoughts of Krishna very nicely. Radharani is standing on the moon tower. When Krishna comes back with his friends and the cows, and Krishna, of course, like always, when he comes back, Ushtara Gosh, he is missing Radharani and he wants to see her, at least a glimpse of her. So he's watching, looking at the moon tower, 
And Radharani is standing there and giving him one wonderful glance. And after this glance, actually, it's described this great crown jewel, this hero, he is crying, rolling on the ground. And his friends are telling him, Oh my God, what we should do? We will die if we cannot bring you back to your normal consciousness. Your mother is waiting. But Krishna is lost in the feelings because he just saw Radharani's glance. And immediately he recognized what is actually written here. The few of Radha's eyes astonished him. He was full of bliss and he was amazed. He was saying, oh, it's not Kunjeshwari. But it seems she is giving the same feeling to me. What means she is not in the kunj? I'm not meeting her in any kunj. She's standing at the moon tower. All people around me, all my friends, all the elders. But what I can do now? I'm lost. I'm lost. She's watching at me and I'm lost. And he's really drowning in this feeling, in rasika, amorous feelings, completely enchanted. Because, like you said, Gopinath Bhaya, in the eyes of Radha, our Mohan is seeing her heart, her wishes, and he's reading it in one moment. And immediately he is completely lost. And now the friends, they have difficulty to bring this hero back on his feet. Dehi Pada Palavam Udaram Mahabhava Chintamani Rataraswarup. And this is the feeling of this great hero completely subdued in front of the moon tower. And I think this verse is also going in this direction and also describing it very nicely with other words. Isn't it Gurudev? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What comes to me now, listening to your nectarian flow of words, that this is actually Pushpa Banaya in the Kam Gayatri, right? Her glance makes him faint. This is what Gurudev always emphasizes that in our meditation we have to see this. The glances of Radharani is so powerful that the most powerful faints. And what happens next? Who can wake him up and say, hey, wait, wait, don't don't faint now. The Leela hasn't really started yet, so the manjari has to come here. This is the game as the half in the calm guy, you know, Gurudev. We were missing you so much, Gurudev. Sorry, we have to. He's in deep meditation. I'm so much relishing what you have. Beautiful. He's in meditation. <laughs> Can we continue a bit more to read? Yes. Good yes. 
<coughs> she had already given up hope for meeting Mohan that night, and her heart had become dark like the new night of despair. Now she suddenly hears from her maidservant that Mohan is sitting in a nearby kunja meditating on her in a favorable mood. So she also becomes enchanted by Rati Rasaganda. I want to ask Goranga Sundar Bhaiya, what does it mean, favorable? Okay. Mood? I like to hear from you, Bhaiya. Radhe Radhe, my dear. I'm immersed in uh, listening all your words. So favorable mood appears in the heart of someone who is in love. And if someone is love, favorable mood is natural. And we can see here the favorable mood of Krishna was that he was suffering to attain Radhika, to meet her, to embrace her. All his mind consciousness was enlightened by Radha's syllables. And when Radhika just hear from the favorable words of Manjaris about his favorable mood, then she relishing this Ras, Rati Rasa Ananda. So this Rati Rasa Ananda is something which appears when favorable mood of love is all around the person. We can see here that Krishna also felt this Rati Rasa Ananda, this delicious ecstasy of love when he was chanting Radha's name, tears were coming out from his eyes. And it means that he took the position, like Gauravani said, he was subdued. He, he took the position of a beggar. Beggar for love. And Radhika, also in favorable mood to him, she is giving, giving, and giving that love. And he, also in favorable mood towards her, is begging. This is his sublime position, that he is a beggar. She is a giver of love, but Krishna... <clears throat> is a beggar of that love. <clears throat> and Manjaris are helping the both of them to be in this favorable position, in this favorable mood, because Manjaris are favorable to this Yugalakishore. This is their goal, to put them together. So, Majari is so favorable to them that whatever she speaks, she speaks directly from the heart to please the heart of Swamini. So she is favorable because she wants to please her. And automatically, what's happening with Radhika? She is drowning in this ocean of Rati Rasi, Rasa Ananda because of favorable mood of Manjari. 
full of love. Otherwise, someone can speak the same words, but if he is not favorable and full of love, these words will not make effect. But if someone is so favorable because of love, his broken words even can touch the heart of the person. And we can see here how Radhika immediately came out from her despair because of favorable, loving, sweet words of Manjari. And he immediate, she immediately understood how Krishna, her lagara, her lover, is so favorable in the begging mood to her. So she is giver, he is a beggar, and this is their Rati Rasa Ananda. Oh. It came to me. Radhe Radhe. Gurudev, please help us. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I feel it. Raso by Saha. So Krishna is here mentioned Rasa. So Radha has felt Raso by Saha. Krishna's Rati. Because love need both is favorable. We need say if feel or Krishna if say Krishna thinking another gopi, then Radha's mood is become very you know upset. But Radha could understand, oh Krishna also crying for me. I also crying for him. Then Radhika could understand by the mercy of Manjari Krishna's feeling. Oh Krishna's blood is there. And then Gopinatabaya says, it's karma guide. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is just listening. Radhika's heart is so much, love is more increasing, more eagerness is coming, more greed is coming. Then Radhika automatically feels so much ananda. So, this is Manjari's beauty. So always uh, I say inspired, always, always their sense, sense or feeling to like to increase more and more. Like go Barda. They always add flavor to every scene, every Leela. No, Manjari is always decorate, ornament the Leela. No, without them, there's no, uh, I like flavor, the flavor is missing then. Of course, Radha and Mohan, they're very flavorable, but this extra scent, this fragrance, which makes it more sweet, more tasty to view the Ananda, which comes to see when they find out that they're just nearby each other. They just, you know, like you're going, you're having a, a meeting and in the street and you just cross each other. You know, you're so fixed on meeting, but you just passed each other. <laughs> so today in this world, we are always fixed on our mobile phones. So we walk, we don't see each other. Yeah. But imagine like they're just nearby. And then the manjuris, as Jananda just said, they always increase and beautify every scene. So in this meditation, like, the positions of the manjis are so fortunate and so fortunate that we can actually also meditate on this you know, by the mercy of, of the manjis and how we can decorate and ornament every smaran with meditating on our manjis world. And when we chant the calm guides, you know, Jananaji, we can also even ornament and decorate this mantra, no? Yes. And I feel also this Mohan's fixing this point. 
And then manjari also fixing to 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 meet combine together. And then by the word of manjari, radicals feeling is more fixing and more anticipation, more eagerness in, increasing. So this is a kind of manjari is so nice seva. And uh, this feeling by the mercy of Rashika Vaishnava and Anas Baba and all of <coughs> you and increasing the ocean of Rasa. And today I was reading one sentence of Bilapak Mandari and uh, it's mentioned, I forgot the word, Gokura Suda something. No, Gokura Suda something. And then Baba explained, Go means senses. Kura means kind of group. In this sentence, Krishna try to satisfy all sense of Radhika. Radhika want to satisfy all sense of Moha. So this manjari is just helping to to fulfill their desire. That is very very beautiful. Can I can I share something? You inspire some feeling in my heart. Radhe this was so uh, beautiful one one uh, feeling came in my heart sons of the kunja and he's so lost he cannot find our swamini and then the manjari comes and who is the manjari she is also shadow of our swamini so it's not only she comes and she speaks, but she also carries the fragrance of, of our Swamini. Oh. And she's wearing her prashadi clothes. Mm. And, you know, maybe she's holding some flowers to serve in her hand or... So she's all, she's, you know, infusing a very like thin, how to say, like... A, our Swamini is the fullness to fulfill all his senses, but the Manjari comes with that shadow fragrance and that shadow feeling comes there. So it gives him already a taste, small taste, you know, mm. of the original. <laughs> so it's not only the words that she brings, but it's also her fragrance and her clothes and everything. It makes him even more mad in that moment because... He can already feel with all his senses what will come next. Only by seeing the manjari, he knows everything, you know. Just this feeling came when you shared Jananda Maharaj. So, so nice. Thank you. Beautiful. I remember Radha Rasa Sunday as verse 3. Krishna, Krishna just, you know, touched the fragrance of Radhika's clothes. And Krishna pay obeisance that direction. So Manjari came, then Krishna taste this fragrance, remnants of Radhika. Then Krishna become mad, then pay obeisance and more eager to me. <laughs> wow, Radhika. <laughs> wow, Gopikadi. Wow. Gopikadi, you inspired me also. You always inspire me. But I was just feeling like, wow, actually. Imagine our Gurudev is a Dasi of Radharani. He also carries this fragrance. Wow. All the time, wherever Gurudev goes, always there is the fragrance. Always he's the shadow, right? Yes. So everywhere he makes beautiful fragrance in all our lives, in our hearts. <laughs> like today when Gurudev came back from Delhi, you know, these two days his door was locked. We were a little lost. We yeah. didn't know what to do. We, had to do. we were like, we are in the darkness. We were in the darkness. But then he's, 
the moment uh, Mahatma called that we are just 30 seconds away, already the fragrance was there, no? That, oh, he's just coming now. He already sent his fragrance, no? So thank you, Gopika. Like, this is a beautiful meditation. Wow. Like, beautiful. how we can always meditate on the fragrance, which are the dust he's carrying of Radharani. Mm -hmm. And of course, Mohan is lucky that the manjaris already bring some fragrance so he is not totally lost but we can also meditate always that our guru devi is carrying the fragrance around him that's why good of always you put yourself fully in this perfume nowadays you're also putting it in your nose i'm seeing like you always want to be in the fragrance of swamini you say mm. you see gurudev when he puts the perfume <coughs> on him mm. not little full and then he puts it on every one of them. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. So Rate, this beautiful Rati Rasadanda. I also want to share something with you. I was counting. It is five times Baba mentioned the combination of Rati Rasananda. Mm -hmm. And when you were all beautifully explaining the relationship and the the beautiful, you know, feelings of the of the mandri bringing, uh, first of all, going out, then looking Mohan, then bringing these feelings to Radhika, and then bringing Radhika to Mohan. I felt this Rati. This is like the mandri. She is so eager to bring them together to f make the feelings, you know, explode again that were maybe before endangered of not meeting each other because Mohan was a little bit sad, he was lost. And Swamini was also a little bit sad, what happened now? Will it be an auspicious night today or not tonight? So this, I thought, wow, yeah, this maidservant, she is like this personification of Rati. She is going out to make it really auspicious, to make the delicious mood or the delicious ecstasy, ecstasy of love possible again. And then when she goes out with this Rati, then Rasa and Ananda can meet. Then Krishna mm. and Shimati Radhika, they can meet and they can have, again, this, you know, highest, highest moods that are possible and that are bringing them together and make uh, all of us and all of the mandaris uh, immerse in a, you know, ecstasy of serving this Rati, Rasa, Ananda. That was mm. what I was feeling because it's such a sweet uh, game. It's like the game of love, the game of yeah. getting lost and the game of finding each other. And Gopinath, you were so nicely saying also about Gurudev. I was feeling the last two days, where is Gurudev? I didn't know. Nobody shared the secret that he was uh, going to a wedding. But I felt somehow <laughs> what happened to Gurudev. <laughs> so there, now we are all together again. And the Rati Rasananda can somehow flow also between the all of us. Mm -hmm. That I want to share. That's how I feel. And it's very beautiful. Thank you all. Radhe Radhe. This is Ringara Rasa. Huh? Even the moment of meeting is decorated, actually. Like Tulsi Mantri sometimes takes a very thin sheet to cover some limbs of Radha. Not because she wants to hide them. No. She wants to make her beloved more eager. And like this, I feel in the association all of you and this is making more thirst actually for this to be in Radhadasyam, to dive deep in this Leelas and share them. We are all decorating more and more. This is also Sringara Rasa here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry Gaurachandra, I so you wanted to share something, please. Um, I had the same feeling like uh, Suniti just shared, same come to me. 
So I feel we are all connected with Guru Dev that he infuse everything to each of us. So Goranga Sunda he talked about this favorable mood. And I was thinking how much Radharani and Krishna they depend on the manjaris. Without the manjari, nothing is possible. Radharani, she cannot find the way, she cannot decorate herself, she cannot decorate the kunja, she is so in the in the feelings, she depends on the support of the manjari. Krishna is not coming, and manjaris have to search. And they transfer Radharani's feelings to Krishna, and they also transfer Krishna's feelings to Radharani. So they are like the bridge in between. But they not only transfer Radharani's feelings to Krishna, they also have their own feelings. The feeling that they have strong desire to make them meet what mm -hmm. Suniti just explained so nicely. And that is a, not only that Krishna feeling hope that the Manjari is coming and yes, Radharani is near, she wants to meet me. Krishna also feels hope because he also feels that is the strong desire of the manjari also to make them. Mm. That infuses more hope in him. Mm. And same with Radharani, when the manjari is coming back, she also can feel the manjari also has so strong desire to make them. So the manjari is giving hope to them all. Mm. that they can meet. That I wanted to add to some mm. Jai. Jai. Yes, you sure is on. Yeah, just now, I got a chance of love and the Gopinata virus is inspired to me. In these days, we are we were missing Guru Dev. I know, I know, uh, Guru Dev will come back this afternoon till evening time, but we don't know which time he will back. And uh, at 3 p.m., I was in temple. At that time, I saw Mahatma. Mahatma went there with Guru Dev. Then I understand. Oh, Mahatma is there means mm. Guru Dev is here. Mm. I feel hope from uh, Mahatma. Mm. And uh, I ran to Guru Deva's room. Mm. Then no one is there, only me and Guru Dev is there. Mm. Oh, Guru Dev, I meet then Guru Dev. Mm. Like this, then a little bit understand uh, this Leela's Mohan spirit. If Mohan mm. see Manjari, mm. Mm. <laughs> Only Manjari, mm. this figure gives Mohan hope. Mm. Oh, I can meet Ravalana. This is a nice wow. small experience. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Very nice. Very nice. Everywhere we can see yeah. Leela, Kishori is just showing us that we can put this in our day to day life. <laughs> no, that, wow. Yeah. First, we see the Dasi. And then we know that our Swamin is nearby, no? Like, so beautiful, Kishore. Guru Dev is everywhere, teaching everything. Every know. moment is a teaching. Yes. By your mercy. Thank you for inspiring. Radhe, Radhe. To pick on these wonderful words of Kishori, the Manjuri is also when Krishna sees them, they have something like a menu card in the eyes. 
you know what is a menu card when you're going to restaurant and there's written what what dishes there will be <laughs> because actually Ladarani and the Mandaris they are tatatmic and the Mandari knows exactly what will come later Radharani also because they feel what is in the heart what are the wishes of Mohan so when Krishna sees the Mandri he also gets this vibration of the menu card actually what will be later on and that sometimes is so a strong impact and so astonishing so rasic that he actually tend to fall unconscious in this moment already just to build on Kishori's words more I just realized we only read two sentences today <laughs> so I um, yeah, and t today I was feeling in the uh, afternoon, yeah, like uh, it's just a half a page, you know, like, oh, what to do, like, then maybe read another verse, but now I, I see that we, uh, yeah, we have two sentences, <laughs> but we got two sentences further. It's so beautiful to, together to, to dive in, into this nectarian words of Ananta Das Babaji's commentaries. His Kripa is actually there. This is what Gurudev always says. Like one line can be enough for the day, right? We are very fortunate that we have like this, this desire together to, to dive in into those uh, beautiful explanations and like uh, a week, a shaukling, what do you call it, like swing together, no? Like one is pushing the swing and then the other side, somebody like we're swinging together here. But um, maybe I continue one with the next sentence. I will not, uh, I have to repeat the previous one. So, uh, Now she suddenly hears from her maidservant that Mohan is sitting in a nearby kunja, meditating on her in a favorable mood. So she also becomes enchanted by Rati Rasananda. After all, her mother Mahabhav causes her to become happy even if lethal obstacles are standing in her way to meeting more. Can somebody explain? I don't understand this sentence. So what do you mean desa? desa. Lethal, like lethal. deadly, hmm? deadly obstacles. Uh -huh. After all, her mother Mahabhav causes her to become happy even if lethal, deadly obstacles are standing in her way to meeting more. Yes, Gopinath. Yes, Gora. <laughs> we know this example when she is moving in nighttime in the darkness. And it's raining, Radhika, no? then it's very slippery. Mm. But for that, she is uh, trained. She do this in daytime. She is uh, yes. Practice. uh, practicing this. And uh, if she is in that mood, now at daytime, she has a fear about a stick on the way, and then that could be a snake. Mm. But when she is in that mood, in nighttime to meet Krishna, 
she find a snake and just in front of her and put it cover the head the head and then throw away like a stick <laughs> so she has no fear for oh. the snakes you see this uh what is meaning of this of this bath then she forgets everything there is no more fear nothing no obstacle can uh, stop her on her way to uh krishna and they give the example of a walking elephant you know nothing can stop a mad elephant on the way in the path of the jungle <laughs> there is no meaning of obstacles the elephant is so powerful and this is happened when radhika is in her madana mahabha then she can move mountains is also an ex example for the uh, meaning of how much power is there in her mood that's a very wonderful point and i just read today in ananda das babaji's commentary that actually the obstacles and this this shows the mercy of radha the obstacles at one point they take shelter at her lotus feet actually so everything is personally in this realm and everyone is taking shelter of radharani's lotus feet even the obstacles that means they serve and they get the mercy so this gives hope to us because sometimes i also feel like an obstacle but even i can take shelter at radharani's lotus feet as an obstacle Oh, you are so sweet, Goravani. <laughs> I just thought that um, it might be Gopinath. Also, that sentence. I was also thinking, what does it mean? One possible interpretation could be that actually she has all the bhavas to overcome all the obstacles, but once she is in the kunj and she is helpless, she needs her manjari to give her the mm -hmm. hope again. That could be this sweet Rati Rasananda help of her Dasi. Mm. One more thing. If we think about her Mahabhav, what is so powerful, that is uh, if everything what comes in contact automatically will get the same it will spring to them like this when iron gets the fire it becomes so hot that everything comes close to this iron what we also iron what now is a uh, hellish like hellish fire comes in contact with that fire will automatically burn in the same fire so for example this snake only by come close to radhika will fall in this same uh fire in the same mood in the same bath in that moment everything around her like we see in uh uh, uh mahaprabhu when he was in the jungle you, we can there is this example that even the tigers was dancing they become mad so this is the example of everything what comes in her close to her becomes mad and there is no question about obstacles this is uh, all the obstacles uh what what are there they they become fortunate they come in her own energy then wow. I remember one verse, I don't know, I think Binakku Samanjali Varasuri, I'm not sure anymore, but it's saying that when she runs towards the meeting with Mohan, she's like a river who floods both shores of her 
family and relatives and with a foolish smile she's running like nothing anymore is important in this moment similarly we hear from gurudev when we enter in this bhav then we don't have to be afraid of anything anymore because we are already accepted by guru manjuri and by radharani so any obstacle in our life can easily be conquered if we stay in that flow and if we see how strong her bhavs are that they even flood the shores you know like so what lethal obstacles can be anymore water can uh flush away everything right so her mother akya mahabhav can flush the whole universe when she's running to the kunja right gora then she's so one pointed there's nothing anymore in between her but when she reaches there so need to say then suddenly all these emotions come up and the anxiety is not there you know and she has practiced the whole day she has trained you know she has done everything she slipped on the on the wet floor and she ran over mud and he's not there and in this moment the manjuris come in this is the the magic <laughs> of of mahaprabhu's gift to us in this moment we can be part of it and we can help wow. mm. beautiful beautiful and gopina one more example for this is uh madai and we we say ana jagayan jagayan madai <laughs> they are simultaneously like this snake mm. there is a they are there was bad person criminals drug drinkers and whatever and even they they uh, uh, was try to uh um was a verletzen hurt 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 nitai nitai na and, and but when they come close mm. to mahaprabhu na even he has in the first moment he was in uh in the mood of of vishnu then but then uh, nitai remembers him reminds him to what was his uh position there then he came in the mood of radhika back and in that moment the bath radhika's bath in greece and jumped to this two person so it was this fire this this unstoppable fire of this mahabhav was jumping to this two people and you can see what happened with them they was after that they was also in the fire yeah they got fire <laughs> they start burning and there was uh, no more meaning of this what what, what they was before yes. they change completely uh-huh. but and it was this is what we are also looking for crying all day. crying we have to we, if we are close to a person who is burning automatically after some time we become red mm-hmm. slowly red color we become hot and then after we become soft mm-hmm. if it's hot enough <laughs> we we uh, we are not no more this heavy iron stuff we change our nature mm-hmm. and this is why we have to be so close to our guru dev because the guru is is um store store this fire what actually come from mahaprabhu and radhika's mood and the the maid servants around her like ragunathas and rupa and this fire is continuously burning from it's giving from the one guru to the disciple and so we have to wait for this fire we have to be there until we are not only red we have to become yellow and white mm. so hot that we are soft 
our heart nature will change in a softness. And then we can also change all our relatives around us. We get the same nature than our Gurudev and his Gurudev. And everything starts burning. <laughs> in ecstasy. In ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> Gora, this is such a beautiful scene when Jaga and Madai hit Nita and he's bleeding and Mahabrabhu rushes and sees that in that moment he gets so overwhelmed by this seeing Nita bleeding. But then Nita takes Mahabrabhu's hand and says, Hey, remember what you promised that you will give Prema Bhakti to everyone. And this is Nita Kripa and this is Guru Kripa. That only by the touch of Nitai and Guru Kripa, we can change, we can become that, that our iron can also melt and become gold. Wow. This is so beautiful that we always can remember this is only Nitai Kripa. And who is Nitai? She's an Anga Manjari. Again, we have to pray like she can help to make this iron heart melted. Wow. Yeah. And uh, also the impunus is actually burned in this process. And I want to give a practical example of Gurudev's mercy in this connection. I was hurt a lot in the past of some other uh, so-called persons like gurus. And actually, when I met Guru, I was not very favorable for him. You know, I was very critical and actually I was like Jagai and Madai. Mm -hmm. But Gurudev, he completely ignored. He just took this mood, he understood and was just heating me up and burning and burning and still today he is burning because so many unpur impurities are there so actually this shows how a real guru is acting even you offend him he will not take it personally mm -hmm. he's just giving mercy giving mercy giving mercy and giving more mercy and more mercy because he sees all what can help is the love of Radharani. Mm. And this is what he gets and this is what he gives. Wow. So yeah. it's so wonderful. Yeah. This is really love. Unconditional. Thank you, Gurudev. Jai, Jai, Jai. Jai. I, I read the other day, the highest form of love is in is compassion. So those who have tasted the highest form of love, like our Gurudev, they embody and express it through un, unlimited compassion. This is what Gauravani just said. There's only compassion, whatever Gurudev says, does to us, only out of compassion. He doesn't have to do, actually. He's, he's already in in his bhav he's already with radharani then why is he taking care of us because his love expresses itself the highest love through divine compassion and we are very fortunate that our gurudev is every single poor is only compassion to us jiva there he's really giving there to the jiva he's giving us everything he's giving even us the understanding of the, the soul of the jiva which is to be a Dasya of Radharani. And this is what again brings back that Nitai took Mahaprabhu and said, remember, you promised Prema Bhakti to everyone for free, out of this highest compassion, right? This is what we are experiencing in our daily life, that this is really happening. This is Mahaprabhu's mercy. This is the mercy of the Parampara that this compassion is still flowing and allowing us, you know, that we can really understand who we are. Thank you, Goravani, for sharing this. But 
your uh, relation with Gurudev and thank you. Yeah. Go on, Suniti Didi. The maidservant speaks sweet words about Mohan to revive her Swamini and brings her to the Kunja where her Nagara is staying. Now, Swamini has to be revived. What does this mean? To revive Swamini, the maidservant speaks sweet words about Mohan to revive her. So Swamini had actually lost already all hopes. Already her heart became the dark moon night, right? She already had given up on this night endeavor with her Mohan. But then the Manjari's sweet words are reviving her. When Gurudev speaks to us in his sweet voice, right, he also revives us. Mm -hmm. you know? Sometimes we are in a really bad mood, maybe we have gone through some difficulties and we call Gurudev and he says, don't you bother, I am there for you. Mm -hmm. And immediately our heart lifts up. Mm -hmm. Similarly, when the Manjari tells the Radharani, don't worry, I found him. <laughs> <laughs> Chinta Matkaro, no Gurudev. The Manjari says to Radharani, Chinta Matkaro, I am there for you. I found him. And then her heart revives. So this is the condition of the Manjari, the position of the Manjari, that how, how close she is. Who can revive Swamini, who is the embodiment of Haladini Shakti, who is the highest form of love? Mm. But she also needs to be revived. Mm. That only the Manjari is able to do. You know, I feel this last sentence, Mahababa causes her to become happy. This Mahababa, Radhika's Mahababa infuses Manjari. And then Manjari try to help Radhika mm. to meet Mohan. And I remember, I think Lati Manjari, Torashi Manjari, she's saying, you need me. Mm. <laughs> yes. I need you, but all but you know, you need me. <laughs> Without me, how can you you can meet more? Mm. And uh, this manjari knows radical feeling, radical heart. Mm. And then uh, they can move, they can act. Advance in advance. So this is, uh, and then Manjari came and talk. Then enlivens mm. Radhika. Like Radhika's senses is more global than increasing. And then Radhika has strong hope. Like last time, like sentence, Krishna meet Manjari. Krishna's hope eagerness increasing. Similarly, Radhika hear heard from Manjari, hear from Manjari. Then Radhika's expectation, hope is more increased, means love is more increased. Because so much faith upon Manjari. I cannot do anything, but my maid servant, my Manjari can do for me. She has so much faith upon Manjari. And also Manjari reciprocate because so much expert, Daksha, very expert to meeting Radha and Mohan. So every day we are, we are singing uh, this Guru, uh, Guru Bashtaka? Shukshashtaka. Eh? No, no, Guru Bashtaka. Mm -hmm. Like Guru Dev, Guru Manjari was so expert mm -hmm. to, to, to meeting Radha and Mohan together. Nikunja, Nikunja, you know. Nikunja, you know. Radhika is there. 
。ヤンヤリビューティーイラフィクシャニー。タトラティダクション。ダティバルバシャン。シェネシェザー。シュー、シュー。ラディラディ、アンソラキー。To sit here and to listen and to watch these mandarins here. <laughs> and the other mandarins I can see on the screen. And for me, it's, you are such a big example and it increases my love to watch you and to see how you are able to increase your love and to, to make the scenery and to tell the Leelas. And, and so I can enter with you and、uh, my heart becomes. Bigger and softer, and,、uh, and I can watch all these beautiful mandarins. And so, at the beginner mandarin, you, you increase s not only the love from Radha and Mohan, and also from the beginners who are sitting in the corner and watching you. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. we are all the beginners here, and we are just so lucky that Ananta Das Babaji, that Guru Dev, all the Mahajans. Have shared this with us.、Uh, who would share this? This is so confidential, but they're so compassionate that they are sharing this. And we can really feel it when we're reading it. no? And I'm just stuck with this word revive her Swamini. It's not like make her happy or joyful or make her jump. No, revive her. Like revive means somebody's almost gone, right? You have to be expert. You have to be like a doctor, PhD. b u r i f always says it's PhD club. No? You have to be a doctor to revive somebody.、Mm. You have to know the techniques. You have to act fast. No? When somebody's heart stops beating, immediately you have to do CPR. So the Manjuris are these nurses who know how to do CPR. And revive her, but not there. They don't need instruments, they just speak the sweet words about Mohan,、yeah. which they have painted already on their hearts. They have seen the scene of Mohan in the Kunja alone, chanting Radha syllables, and they report to her and revive her Swamini. Like Jananda says, Tulsi Manjari says, I need you, but you also need me, Swamini. Who will help you when you? Are no more in your sense, need to be revived,、mm. then I have to be there.、Mm. I have to take you and have to bring you to Nagara. And this is the next scene, actually. Radhe, Radhe. Just、um, when you were speaking about reviving, I was feeling the opposite of、uh, what, we, what I just shared before. That one is that the Manjuris speak very sweetly, but surely also they picked a flower of Mohan's garland. And maybe, you know, maybe they stole something from his、uh, Shringar and they bring that also to revive her senses while they are speaking. <coughs> they get the fragrance of Mohan, you know, if she's semi unconscious.、Wow. she... They put under her nose something also to revive her, and they whisper in her ear, you know, like they also revive her senses、uh, with this fragrance and, and the, the mood that he's in. Maybe some tears, maybe they gathered some of his tears and they sprinkle on her. <laughs> something <laughs> something、wow. more, only, you know, many ways to revive somebody <laughs> who is unconscious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. It, it's like, like the drops, you know, when you are in a hospital, you get these drops in the veins. <laughs> drop, drop. drop. <laughs> Actually, it's like the drops of Radharani's lotus feet, they ooze like honey.、Oh. And they are actually reviving Mohan. Wow. wow. And we are also hanging on these drops of Radharani's lotus feet, actually, and they are reviving us.、Wow. And this is actually what we share here these drops,、mm. reviving elixir. We are all hanging on the drops.、Mm. But Mohan also.
Sorry, I just had this picture. Beautiful. It's an SOS situation for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call 911. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> there we see that how much Mahabhav need the maid servants to um to come in the bath because bath is there but without mohan there is no not this waves we know from her mm -hmm. it's only silent and it is like dead mm -hmm. no movement no using of this bath mm -hmm. and she can only increase this with together with mohan and so it is also said that he is her life and on the opposite side it's the same and so she is his uh, life and um there what is needed in between is the manjari it's a complete dimension in the spiritual abode manjaris create the situation of a maximum of this when Swamini is increasing the bath together with Mohan because they create the situation. Mm. They take so much care and the, really the Manjaris are an own dimension in this abode. There Srimati Sisnagara immersed in meditation, a stream of sweet nectarian Radha Nam flowing from his lotus-like mouth. Seeing this sweet situation, Swamini becomes immersed in the ecstasy of Rati Rasananda and her hairs standing on end. With a sweet voice, the maidservant says, Oh, Yogi Raj, open your eyes and see. The treasure of your sadhana has become before you. Be blessed by enjoying the fruits of your sadhana. <laughs> now we know what the fruits of his sadhana are. <laughs> the powerful name of Radha has attracted the deity Radha to come here personally and the lotus feet you meditated on have become before you. Wow. Bless your eyes by beholding their sweetness. Uh, can you repeat again? <laughs> Gurude wants to listen one more time. <clears throat> With a sweet voice, the maidservant says, O oh, Yogi Raj, open your eyes and see. The treasure of your sadhana has mm -hmm. come before you. Be blessed by enjoying the fruits of your sadhana. The powerful name of Radha has attracted the deity Radha to come here personally and the lotus feet you meditated on. Again. This line. Be blessed by enjoying the fruits of your sadhana. The powerful name of Radha has attracted the deity Radha to come here personally. Yeah. Hmm. Explain this. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't understand. Can you explain, please? 
Radhe Radhe Gurudev, I don't, I don't know anything about this. It's completely strange subject to me. <laughs> oh, Goranga, please. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that you have to listen. So, this is the main principle, actually, to understand, first understand and then try to feel that there is no difference between the name and the person. Because the name is transcendental and the person is transcendental. And in that sense, there is no any difference. But also, there is no difference between the name, person, and we can say Takurji on the altar. So, everything is present in the name. Form, qualities, and automatically lilas. When we are chanting, the name or thinking about the name of our beloved Radhika, immediately her form starts to appear, qualities of sweetness and so on and so on, beauty. But also it appears at least some small partial of Lila. And there is uh, one words in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Nama Vigraha Svarupa, Tina Eka Rupa. There is no difference between Nama and Rupa. They are Eka. They're the same. And when devotees practicing sadhana, Bhakti, especially Raganuga Sadhana Bhakti, with full devotion, full emotion, spontaneously, then he can go deeply in the name of his beloved Ishtadev. Because for him, he is not speaking only the name and syllables. This is a sweet personality. The name and these syllables possess lotus feet, lotus knees, legs, buttocks, lotus breasts, arms, eyes, mouth, nose, ears, hair. This is the syllable of Radha, which appears in the heart of devotee, who, under, who feels, who understands, and see on the screen of his mind, his beloved Ishtadev. And we can see here from Krishna's example that he was doing his chanting of Radha's name with tears, with full feelings, showing us example of real sadhana. <laughs> <laughs> and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also gave the same feelings. I want to chant, chant your name mm -hmm. with flood of tears. I want that my throat is just, I don't know the English word, but you understand what I want to say. So, choking, yeah, choking. So, I want, what does it mean? I want to chant with full emotions. And this is the sadhana which will bring result. Which is the result? The form of beloved Ishtadev, 
the Lila of beloved Ishtadev and all associates of beloved Ishtadev who are in the mood which devotee likes. So Krishna here, Gopinaji read, he, he's chanting and because of his chanting, Manjari was so happy that he is chanting the name of Radhika, that Manjari brings Radhika to him. When Manjari is happy, Guru Manjari is happy, how disciple Shisha is chanting the holy name of Ishwadi. Then slowly, gradually, he will open the door more and more that Shisha can and bring Swamini in his heart. So this is the real fruit of sadhana, to see my beloved goal of my beloved Radhika. All other fruits are not important at all. But just to be, to see, to serve, to hear, like Gopika always mentioning, to smell the fragrance, because this is the fruit of appearance of my beloved Radhika or Ishtadev, to smell with all my senses. And this is my only goal. But how I can do it? Without self-realization. If I don't understand who am I, if I don't accept who am I, if I don't feel who am I, if I don't completely identify with this identity of Radha Dasi, of Dasi Anu Dasi Dasi. So without this beginning point, it takes time. So realization of my Swarup is practi practically realization of the bud of Shimati Radhika. And this is what I'm hankering. And this kind of sadhana, I hope that one day will bring this fruit in my life. Because when I realize my swarup, my bhava deha, then I will understood maha bhava swarupini. Mm. Because without bhava deha, we cannot realize. We cannot smell, we cannot hear Mahabhava Swarupini. And Krishna also couldn't do it. <laughs> he was crying then, but how he meditated, how he practiced this sadhana, verse is explaining that. <laughs> he was meditating on the toenails, the light on the toenails of Radhika. And this light enlightened his heart, not his sadhana. Radha's mercy, Mahabhava's kripa, enlightened his dark heart. <coughs> and then he was qualified. And Manjari saw that now you are qualified to see my beloved Radhika. Mm. Because your heart was enough enlightened with her light of Mahabhava, and because you were crying and meditating, practicing this smaran, mm. this bhajan on the toenails, because through the toenails, all Radhika's emotions came in your heart. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Radhe, Radhe, sorry. Goranga, I, I just, I feel so inspired now. You're just saying what the, the treasure of the sadhana is then, right? And what the fruits will be of the sadhana if we can really live in our bhava there. And here the manjari is explaining to Mohan 
she's saying, oh, Yogi Raj, king of yogis, open your eyes and see. She's not saying, Clo keep your eyes closed and see. It's when Gurudev says, we have to see the Leela with open eyes also. This is real meditation. And here the king of yogis is told, open your eyes and see. The treasure of your sadhana has come before you. Means the darshan of the Ishtadeva, Prema Rupini Radha has come. And this is also prayer for us that we have to open our eyes, not keep our eyes closed to see our beloved Swami. And then she says, be blessed by enjoying the fruits of your sadhana. We know, as dasis, we know what the fruits are, of course, and we have to now prepare that because the fruit is ripe and has to be tasted. So we have to now be in service of the Kunda. But what are the fruits of our sadhana? This Goranga Sundar, you said, the fruits of our sadhana is that we can more live in this Bhavadeha, that we practice how to go more and more in these feelings. Like Guru says, this, we have to live in feelings. He always says, come in feelings, right? So this is the, these are the, the fruits of our sadhana. And Mohan, who is doing sadhana, like sadhana means to attain siddhis, right? To be very powerful. That's it. The, the treasure, the fruit of this powerful sadhana is Radha Prem. <laughs> <laughs> Can I read Gopinath, it? one last word. No, don't say last. No. <laughs> <laughs> You exactly said this word from from this uh, uh, king of yogis that he has a special city because of this. The Manjari used his name, and what was the special city of this? There was a deity before. What is the quality of a deity? Deity is not moving, not speaking. Actually, it's a. It looks like. But it is not. It's a deity. It's uh, yes. It has some qualities, but it's not moving. And by his power of meditation, he bring this deity of Radhika to move, to speak, mm. to meet him. And his power was the meditation on her form, her name. And because of this, they use the word, what is was Yogi Raj, Yogi Raj. So he was so powerful in his meditation that he brought the deity of Ratika to moving towards him. Wow. And then Manjari gave her to him to enjoy the fruits of his meditation. Wow. Isn't it? So, and this is a, also a teaching to us. We are also in the same situation that we are in front of a deity. Mm -hmm. a deity is not speaking, not moving, mm -hmm. but by the meditation, intense meditation of her name, of her form, and of absolutely knowing our own form we can bring her to move. Wow. But then not like Krishna to enjoy the fruits of our meditation, but to enjoy the service, wow. Wow. direct service to our beloved deity. Wow. 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 Beautiful. <laughs> So no, I'm sorry, but I have to at least share a little bit. On Goranga Sundara opened actually a big, how you say, fuss, I don't know. Treasure house. A big treasure <laughs> house, yes. So uh, I was just remembering when he was talking about the chanting, that actually is the situation 
version of a baby. A person of their own. You cannot hear? Now we can hear it yeah, here. Okay. So the baby doesn't have a own. Uh, perception. 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 He, he is not the own person. The baby is still like a part of mama. So when the baby is, is actually crying for mama, it's not another person. So if we see this in the connection, the manjari is not another person of Radha. The shadow, a part. It's not a separate identification. It's one. So if you cry in this mood, if, if we can really cry in that mood, like a baby, mama, the name is non-different. If I cry mama, if the baby is crying mama, mama will appear. It's just a question of time. The baby has no doubt about this. The baby has no separate identification. And actually, this is the same with Krishna. When he is meditating about Radha, they are one soul in two bodies. So actually, this is the key of how Radharani may come in our life. And I hope you can all bless me that this will come true. Jai Shri Rati. So just to, I also same feeling with Go, you know, Gora Sundara. And I just remember Raghunath Das Goswami. Raghunath Goswami has dreaming and a spirity, bispirity, but he is not satisfied. Crying. Radhika, I need Shakshat Darshan, direct Darshan. Personally, you, are, you, you appear me in front of me. I want to hug you. I want to serve you. I want to please you. This is, I felt, this sadhana's fruit. Mm. Rade, rade. Wow. <laughs> now Jananda is running to, to, to his Radha Mohan. <laughs> This is already. I had to keep him. He was already on his way. Rade, Arati, thank you, everyone. So, so Niti Didi, I'm a little um, confused. What to do now? There is just a few lines left. What to do? <laughs> Goranga Sundar. Like what to do now? You're muted, Suniti. Yes. No, um, as you feel, we can finish the sentences and who wants to go to RT, they have to go. Maybe we can just try to finish the verse, otherwise you yes. will, will be stuck another week with me. So, <laughs> we love this idea. <laughs> no, no, we can choose then another, maybe we bring it, we, we try to complete it. Yeah. Oh, yes, I think so. Verse is not finished. Change the site. Oh, that's the point. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is Gurudev's wish? Gurudev, should we continue or? If I that was parakil now. Complete this. Complete this next week. Then it starts up. Okay, complete this next week. What?